What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at some cool figures from Wargame Exclusive. Now, these are the figures that we showed you a couple of weeks ago, I guess. There was a whole line of these, and this is their website here. It's wargameexclusive.com. Uh, Pretty cool website. They've got a ton of awesome figures. They got miniatures, kits, and bits, and train. And the cool thing about these is they just basically don't care. They just kind of, kind of do whatever. Um, I don't feel like they're stealing anybody's IP or any copyrights or anything. Maybe some symbology, some symbols, uh, I guess maybe from some Tao stuff might be a little questionable. But here's the thing. Uh, these guys are in Russia. Uh, we got some of their miniatures actually and I'm going to show you that here shortly. And it's really interesting because, well, um, the Ukraine specifically, which I guess is technically under occupation by Russia. I don't, I don't know. It's like a whole thing right now. But anyways, so it's really interesting to see kind of the dynamics of all this stuff. Now these, I mean, you've probably read some of these articles on Spikey Bits where I kind of showed you uh, these miniatures here, which I thought were really great looking. And then there's a whole list of like alternative miniature companies out there. I think there's probably like 50 different ones. I mean, there's, it, it's pretty much like, you know, ordering from a buffet these days when it goes, you know, when it comes to, to theme and, you know, uh, forging your narrative and your games and things like that. And it's really cool. I mean, you can, you could see here, these are just whole figures. We didn't even look at the kids section. I mean, they got Commissar, you know, they got the, that badass Tao dude, Sisters of Slanesh kind of things. You know, four pages of this stuff right here. All sorts of cool Tao. And these are really good quality miniatures. I mean, they're sculpted well. The resin's good. You know, it, it basically got here from uh, Eastern Europe in one piece intact. You know, so there's something to be said for that as well. Uh, we got the... What is it here? It's the Mechanic Female... Uh, Adept Tech Priest with a robot arm, try saying that 10 times fast, 28 millimeter, and the one with axe right here that's kind of holding a, a skull, kind of looking at things. And you know, they're, yes, they are very small miniatures actually. Uh, it's it's really interesting, you know, it's kind of like, I guess it reminds me kind of like the scale that Malifaux is. It's not quite heroic, it's more like, um, I guess real 28 millimeter, so to speak. But you can kind of see here, I mean, in the slideshow, that you know they they're very well detailed i mean take a look the reason i'm showing you this is because basically you know it's already assembled so this one comes with its own base and you can see you know it's got great looking detail all the cogs and things like that and all the mechanical robot arms you know all the, the actual grain on the the miniature base itself there and that's got great uh great optics and things up there kind of you know the pose is very dynamic and things like that so these uh, i believe were 14.99 and so I guess, you know, as far as year goes, that's pretty much like, what, 16 bucks maybe? I mean, the euro's kind of down right now. So uh, that one and this one here for $16.99, pretty much with shipping was $40 out the door, which I feel like is, you know, pretty reasonable for models these days. And it's funny how, you know, plastic's supposed to be cheaper, but we keep seeing these plastic clam packs that are becoming more and more and more and more expensive when, you know, one-off boutique resin miniatures you know, come in at that 15 to $20 price range, which is significantly under uh, clam pack pricing, in my opinion. So it's kind of weird how like, you know, back in the day we used to be able to get pewter miniatures, you know, a special character was 15 bucks. And resin was so much more expensive, you know, it'd be 15 to 20. So it's so much better to do it in metal. And now, <laughs> you know, it, it, it kind of went back the other way. So it's it's really weird to see. So here's a closer look at the one, the tech priest with axe. Like I said, she's kind of looking at the skull right there. Obviously not very well armored, <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? And you know, it's got great detail, like all the cabling, you know, the armor, basically, you know, kind of uh, fiber, I guess, uh, filaments right there. Then you got the, the robot arms that are amazingly detailed for the size they are. I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. Now, you see the little skull and a kind of a cog thing. It's not quite what they, you know, the Games Workshop mechanic symbol, but it's pretty close. And that's, you know, that's something that you can do, I feel like. So it's really interesting to see, you know, how, how close to the, uh, to the em envelope they're really pushing it on these miniatures. But, I mean, obviously, at first look, you can definitely tell, hey, that's, you know, probably a tech priest, you know, out of a Duchess Mechanicus kind of thing. So it's, uh, it's a really cool looking miniature. And obviously, you don't see too many female miniatures out there. Uh, uh, these days I feel like uh, we really need to see more of you know female stuff I mean I would love to see you know the elusive plastic sisters of battle <laughs> who knows if we ever will 
but I imagine when that time comes, judging by the demand from the stuff that uh, Dreamforge Games is putting out, and also uh, Raging Heroes, you know, Toughest Girls in the Galaxy, like, there's definitely a niche to be filled, and I feel like once it does hit, uh, you know, in large numbers, in plastic even, that a lot of people would definitely jump on board if, if they are uh, well done. So we're going to take a look at the miniatures themselves here in a second, but I just wanted to show you all this. Now again, this is Wargames, wargameexclusive.com, uh, the whole website full of stuff. Uh, from bits and kits to you know actual whole miniatures terrain pieces I mean there's there's a ton of stuff in there it's you know it's four pages like these are great for Castellan robots probably do a feature on that here soon pretty cool looking I mean you got backpacks you got shoulder pads you, it runs the gamut there's several pages you know you're talking 20 30 products in each section here so definitely check them out they got uh, they got good stuff going it only took about a week to get the actual items in and uh, you know I can't can't say enough good things, but definitely don't listen to me. Judge it by what the miniatures look like. Okay, so like I said, they do come out of Russia. Obviously, here you can see it's a got a Ukraine address there and a little customs form, and comes in this box here. That's uh, you know it's not quite the best padding, but it's got a little uh, foam envelope thing, and inside that is two little bits bags full of those miniatures right there. The two tech priests themselves now like I said they you know they do definitely look small one of them comes with its own base and one of them does not so I mean I feel like everybody has pretty much a base laying around if you want to put it on a bigger base you know like a 32 or something like that you definitely can it'd be pretty easy there so let's take a look at the first one now this is the one this is just a straight-up tech priest with uh, the robot claw I believe it was what they called it there so obviously there's the base uh, very well detailed obviously you can only get in so far on these with the camera here um, so then you've got the actual female miniature itself that um, you know it's it's basically uh, kind of cut off there at the, the hip you have to um, add on the leg and I mean obviously she's it's just as well as well detailed as she is in the picture you know itself I mean it's pretty spectacular how much detail they can get in that resin and that size right there it's pretty much amazing in my opinion now we've seen stuff like this obviously high quality stuff now here's a here's a little piece of uh, resin sprue there and there's the mechanical arm itself now we've seen you know awesome looking uh, boutique miniatures from things like Kingdom Death and you know some other companies out there um, from you know Raging Heroes themselves to Cyborg to things like that but as far as you know intricacy detail goes I think I think these uh, these little parts right here definitely take the cake um, so as you can tell it definitely came across the ocean in one piece uh, very well very well done highly detailed miniature you know I, I can't say enough good thing actually that's that's both the legs right there that's crazy I couldn't even tell so she just basically glues on right there and has her um, arm on the back and then the little arm on the other side and that's pretty much it so there's your there's your miniature there obviously cheaper quite possibly better than some of the clan packs out there now I mean for what you get you can't really compare that to say like the type priest dominance uh, that you know while it is $36 and quite possibly overpriced in my opinion you can't knock the detail on it you know it's it's an amazingly large miniature that has a ton of detail on it you know it's three-dimensional it's it's something that to be that fiddly with all of this resin would probably be a little too much in my opinion you know I feel like it would just be kind of ridiculous to put together because resin you know you got to use regular glue and it's, it's, it turns into a whole thing sometimes so here you can see all the components uh, from the tech priest with the axe now remember she's holding the, the little skull right here there it is and just kind of looking at it like you know thinking about life I guess <laughs> or something like that insert Shakespearean quote here so let's take a closer look at her obviously she's she appears to be a little bit bigger than the last figure and actually in the um, the description on the website I believe she said she was 148th scale which is really interesting because she almost seems like she's heroic scale right here I mean she's kind of bent over so it's hard to tell 
But yeah, I guess I could see that being 148th. If she was standing straight up, she would be almost as tall as some of the Primark miniatures, I feel like. So that's really interesting. But obviously, you can tell, very well done. I mean, there's a lot going on here, obviously, from the interface sockets. <laughs> on her breast there or you know some of the armor plating all the coils you know the skulls in the back here <laughs> amazingly well detailed I mean I just can't say enough good things great quality resin I feel like you know here's the axe uh, another great looking bit that I said earlier you know you see the cog on there and you kind of just associate it with the mechanicum symbol but it is not the mechanicum symbol and you know they're definitely skirting the edge there so here's some more of the the robot arms and things like that i mean for the size you can tell like it's just it's just very well detailed that's the one that kind of hangs back kind of like fabius bio a little bit and here's some of the wiring and things that go on the back of her head or excuse me on her back oh no this is actually her base i think excuse me Obviously, they don't come with instructions, but yeah, it kind of socks in right there. And then that mounts. So here's the other claw that goes on the back of her backpack that points forward. And then there was the skull. Uh, the, the arm holding the skull right there. So uh, let's see if we can get the detail on that. It's There it is. You can definitely see. I mean, look at that skull right there. Boom. So it's great. I'm like, like I said, for 40 bucks and getting two of these guys, I mean, they're... they're there's not there's not a lot out there to compete with the value and the quality of these miniatures here and like I said you know there is probably 30 or 40 different products in each category there except for the terrain the terrain only has a few but you know I feel like you know as more and more of these uh, smaller upstart kind of boutique companies if you will start appearing you know start kickstarting and start you know ramping up and getting things going that you know games workshop for what they are they they still are the best out there you know whether i don't think that's very debatable personally but you know when it comes down to it at the end of the day you know england ruled the world for what 500 years or so you know spain spain ruled the world for a whole bunch of time too you know everybody has their day in the sun and if you're not you know maintaining and you're not watching your back and you're not you know putting stuff out and doing good things and keeping ahead you know 10 times bigger than your competition then you know eventually you are overtaken now i think you know a lot of people are like worried about the industry and the hobby and things like that but there's so many there's so many good you know model companies and things like that out there i think if something uh, cat catastrophic was to happen to games workshop that we would still have a great hobby regardless you know if you are into building and painting miniatures there's never going to be a shortage of those as far as playing and competitive rule sets well, you know, that just remains to be seen. I'm sure the fluff will be out there, but, you know, I feel like this hobby is strong no matter what happens, and it definitely has a lot of longevity in it still either way. So it's always nice to see great independent miniatures and things out there like this, and I can't say enough good things about WarGameExclusive.com, so make sure you check them out. You know, like I said, it takes about a week to get in, pretty well protected, you know, I mean, you saw it here, it's, uh, it's, it's good looking stuff, so. Well, that's about it for this one, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me as I once again walk down <laughs> past, future, and present of the wargaming industry. <laughs> Make sure you stay in the trenches, subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content and early access videos. And now, free industry discounts from retailers and also manufacturers. Become a veteran of the long war today.